Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs, and this is the Instax Mini Link 2, the latest portable photo printer that uses Fujifilm's hugely popular Instax Mini format. Announced in June 2022, it costs around $130 or £115 and is available in soft pink, clay white, or space blue, which is your favourite. Meanwhile, Instax Minifilm comes in packs of 10, with twin packs working out at around 70 cents or pence per print. At first glance, the Minilink 2 looks a lot like the original Minilink printer, launched almost three years previously and still on sale for a little bit less while stocks last. It shares a similar rounded shell, although the ribbed finish is now a little more pronounced. As before, the printer is charged over micro USB with the battery good for up to 100 prints. The logo on the front doubles as a power button, which also lights up to indicate the status, while Instax mini cartridges are loaded into a compartment in the rear and emerge from a slot in the top when printed. So far so similar to the original Mini Link, but new to the version 2 model are a button on the side of the print slot and an LED in the corner of the body, which both work alongside an updated app to support some fun new features that I'll show you in just a moment. But first things first, like other Instax printers, the Mini Link 2 is primarily designed for printing photos from your phone using the free Mini Link app for iOS and Android, which connects to the printer using Bluetooth. This is a wireless printer only. If you own the Fujifilm XS10 mirrorless camera, you can alternatively print directly to the Mini Link over Bluetooth, but right now it's the only camera with that feature. I hope that Fujifilm adds support to future cameras, but to be safe, assume that the Mini Link 1 and 2 is mostly or even entirely for use with your phone. When you first fire up the Mini Link app, you get to choose between the old or new printer, with the latter unlocking more features. But as before, the app itself is split between two main modes, print and fun. The print mode has three options, with simple letting you browse images on your phone, including any that you've transferred from different cameras. Video print lets you shuttle through clips to choose the perfect frame to print, while Instax camera lets you shoot with your phone with a frame for guidance, while also using the printer as a remote control, tilting it to zoom in and out, and pushing the button to actually take the shot. In any of these modes, you can also adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, apply filters, crop or zoom, or stamp them with text and stickers. Meanwhile, in the fun mode, you can create collages, draw freehand over photos, apply picture frames, or perform a match test with a friend. So far, so similar to the original Minilink printer, but the exciting new feature for the Minilink 2, which I'm going to concentrate on now, is the Instax Air Mode. This fires up a live view from the phone camera with a pop-out tray on the right with five options. Spray paint, cherry blossom petals, laser pointer, sparkles and bubbles. The sparkle pen and paint options allow you to then choose a colour. Now for the clever part. In this mode, the LED on the printer will automatically light up and you can now point it directly at your phone camera and push the new button on the printer to actually draw over the live image, which you can also temporarily dim to make that light easier to see on the frame. In practice, it feels like you've turned your printer into a digital spray paint can and the printer vibrates gently when you're applying the effect. Blossom petals fall slowly downwards, bubbles float upwards and sparkles generally stay put. Meanwhile, the button on the printer has two pressure settings, feeling a little like a soft touch shutter release on a camera, allowing you to adjust the flow in some of those modes. In most of my demos, someone else is filming the process, so I couldn't see the screen, so I'm blindly waving the printer around at times, but you can switch your phone camera into a selfie mode instead to better frame the results. And once you're happy with how the composition looks, just push the shutter button in the app to snap the photo, which can be saved to your phone for sharing and or physically printed. Alternatively, you can film a short video clip as you spray, allowing you to frame grab from it later. Of the new air effect, the bubbles, petals and sparkles are certainly a lot of fun and can add a really cute look to your photos. But I personally most enjoyed the laser pointer, which effectively allows you to light paint over images without all that messing around with long exposures and dark conditions. You can alternatively apply any of the effects by hand from the app if you prefer not to wave the printer around or if you don't have it to hand. But waving the printer around is really what those new features are all about, and it certainly encourages you to carry the Mini Link 2 around with you at all times, which in turn encourages you to make more prints. In fact, you could look at the Air features as a cynical way to encourage you to buy and consume more Instax film, but again, you can apply the effects using the app before then saving and sharing the images digitally if you prefer not to print. 
Ultimately, the Instax Mini Link 2 remains a very useful portable printer for your phone that uses the popular Mini Instant format. Like all Instax printers and cameras, the paper emerges after about 15 seconds, with the image gradually fading into view about a minute and a half later. No need to place the printer on a flat surface or to shake the developing print either. As soon as it pops out, you can throw both the printer and the print into a bag or pocket and move on. The benefit of an Instax printer over the traditional analog instant cameras is you get to choose which images to print and whether to edit them first. You can also print anything that's in your phone, including photos copied from a more sophisticated camera. The new Air features on the Mini Link 2 are certainly fun. I really enjoyed using the printer like a digital spray can, although I did personally find it a little bit uncomfortable to hold one-handed while pointing the LED at the phone camera and applying pressure to the button. Your mileage may vary. The petal, bubble and sparkle effects are super cute, while the laser pen lets you light paint without difficulty. Are they gimmicks aimed at you getting to buy and burn through more media? Of course they are, but equally they are a lot of fun and since the printer itself only costs a little more than the old version, or in some cases much the same price, I'd recommend it for the novelty factor alone, even if you intend to mostly use the basic print function going forward. But come on Fujifilm, with the mini printer now on its second link version, surely it's time to update the SP3 Square model to the world of Bluetooth and an app that's a lot more fun. Fingers crossed, eh? So have Fujifilm's updates sold you on the Mini Link 2? I'd love to hear what you think in the comments and don't forget Fujifilm also sells Instax printers in their square and wide shapes if you fancy larger output, although neither have the air capability of this new Mini model. I've reviewed all of them here as well as all of the instant cameras if you're interested in taking a look. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.